Hey folks, uh, Dr. Tom McNamara back again, working on our course in trigonometry. And in this video, we are going to get into solving right triangles. So before we even get started, let me tell you what I actually mean by that, right? In algebra, we talk about solving an equation. That means finding a value of the unknown that makes the statement true. Solving a right triangle means something a little different. We have solved a right triangle if we have found values for all the side lengths and we know all the angles. Okay, so if I ask you to solve a triangle on a homework assignment or a test or something like that, I'm looking for you to find all the side lengths and all the angles. Now, of course, we have to be given some of these to start with, so we'll work on some examples here. Now, don't forget our tools here. We have some tools at our disposal here. Okay, sometimes we'll need to use the Pythagorean Theorem. Okay, the Pythagorean Theorem relates the side lengths in a right triangle, and if you know any two of them, you can figure out the third. Another tool that we have is the angle sum. In any triangle, the angle measures have to add up to 180 degrees. So that means if we know any two of the angles, we can get the third one. And the third tool will be the trig ratios that we've been talking about in our course. Let's get right into an example here. pull one out of this book right here. So we're dealing with a right triangle ABC where C is the 90 degree angle. Okay, And in this example, okay, so we've got ABC where C is the 90 degree angle. Remember our convention Angles are capitals, lengths are lowercase, and angle A opens up on the side A, angle B opens up on the side B, angle C opens up on the side C. Okay, so in this particular problem, they tell us that angle A measures 42 degrees. Let me get myself some, some colored chalk here to kind of emphasize some differences here. So let's use blue for stuff that we are, are given and orange for stuff that we are going to figure out. Okay, so they tell me this angle is 42 degrees, and they tell me that side C is 15 feet. 1, 5, 15 feet. Okay, now, we got to find... These side lengths, we got to find that angle to solve this triangle. Okay, now, can I use the Pythagorean theorem to help me out with the side lengths? Unfortunately, the answer is no. We know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but we only know one of the side lengths. So the Pythagorean theorem won't help us. We're going to have to use some other tools. Now, one thing that we can do right away is get this angle. Okay, so... We know that the angle sum in this triangle has to be 180, like every triangle. That's 90, that's 42. Okay, so we've accounted for 132 degrees. So that must mean this is 48 degrees. Okay, so we know that's 90, that's 42, that must be 48, because you've got to total out to 180. Okay, now the question is, how can we start getting these side lengths? Well. Let's do this. We know this angle. Let me try to find side A. Okay, so I know that the sine of angle A would be that length over that length, A over C. Now we know C is 15, so that's, in fact, let me, let me just rewrite the whole equation. We know the measurement of angle A, so sine 42 degrees. We know the 
the measurement for side C is 15. So this is an equation involving a single unknown. We can solve it. So side A, well, you want to solve for A. You want A by itself. What do you have over here? It's A divided by 15. How do you clear out a divisor? Well, you do the opposite. What's the opposite of dividing? Multiply. So you got A divided by 15, you don't want that anymore, multiply by 15, both sides. Okay, so 15 times sine 42 degrees. Okay, we'll break out our calculator here. Remember, make sure you got it in degree mode in this, on this calculator. I would do it this way, I'd put in the 42 degrees first. This is an old-fashioned scientific calculator. Put in the 42 first, hit the sine button. Multiply that by 15, and, okay, 10. Um, you might say, uh, hey, Dr. Mack, look at all those numbers on my calculator. Why would you just write down 10 significant figures, right? Two significant figures, two significant figures. My answer should have two significant figures. Okay, so 10. I put that little decimal point there to make sure that we know the trailing zero is significant. Okay, so what did I say? I said we were going to use orange for the stuff that we found. Okay, so we were given the 42 and the 15. We found that using the angle sum. We found that using a trig ratio. Heck, let's go ahead and you just check all the boxes here. We used a trig ratio to find a side length. We used an angle, uh, the angle sum is 180 to find that. Let's go and use the Pythagorean theorem to find the last one, okay? This squared plus this squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So 10 squared plus b squared equals 15 squared. Okay, that's 100. That's 225. Do the subtraction. B squared equals 25, and that implies B equals 5. Is that right? No, that's wrong. B squared is 125. 225 minus 100 is 125. Okay, so b equals the square root of 125. We can simplify it. Five radical five. Okay. So, you don't have to use all these on every single one. I just wanted to do an example where we just used all the tools. Okay, so we're solving a right triangle. You've got to find all the angles, all the side lengths. Okay, one more example. So once again, we're dealing with triangle ABC. C is going to be the 90 degree angle. Following our convention, angle A opens up onto side A, angle B opens up onto side B, angle C opens up onto side C. In this problem, they give us the following information. Angle A is 32.6 degrees. Angle, oh no, they don't tell us angle B. We can figure that out. They tell us side A is 43.4 inches. Okay, so let's start figuring some stuff out. We can get that angle for free just about. Okay, 32.6 plus 90. 32.6 plus 90 is 122.6. 122.6 is 
we do 180 minus 122.6 and get 57.4 degrees. So angle B is 57.4 degrees. Let's go ahead and figure out some side lengths here. Okay, we know that the sine of angle A would be equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, remember those right triangle definitions for our trig function. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that would be A over C. All right, if that's true, that is saying that sine 42.6 32.6 degrees is equal to 43.4 over C. Okay, so we have plugged in the known values, and that leaves exactly one unknown value. Okay, you might say, well, Tom, Dr. Mack, how do you know you should use sine of angle A? Well, I want to find C. Okay, so if I take this and this, well, I could do sine of angle A, I could do cosine of angle B. Okay, there's, there's no specific thing you have to do. You want to use one of the trig ratios that involves this side, a known side, and the unknown side that you're looking for. Okay, so we can figure out this on our calculator. I'm not going to do it right now, but we need to solve for C. You're going to take that equation, solve it for C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by C. So I don't know what C is, but C times sine 32.6 degrees would be equal to 43.4. I want to get C by itself. It's not quite by itself yet. So if this equation is true, that means this one must be true as well, because I multiply both sides by C. Here, I would divide both sides by sine 32.6. Now I can take my calculator, do the computation. Okay, so 43.4 divided by 32.6 sine equals, so I'm getting 80.6. Okay, uh, three significant figures on this one. Why? Because look at all these inputs we got. Three significant figures on all those. Our answers should have three significant figures. Okay, so we found side C, the hypotenuse. All right, now we need to find B. A couple of, things, couple of ways we could do it. We could use the Pythagorean theorem, or we could bring in more trig ratios. Okay. Let's do that one. Let's bring in more trig ratios and find uh, find B. Okay, so we just figured out C, 80.6 inches. Okay, a couple of ways I could do it. I know side A, I want side B. Opposite, adjacent. Let's bring in the tangent. Okay, so tangent of angle A would be Opposite, which is side A, over adjacent, which is side B. Let's fill in the known quantities, 32.6. And A is 43.4, unknown side B. Okay, so when you're solving these triangles, what you need is you need to use your equations and relationships that you know, the Pythagorean theorem, the angle sum, the trig ratio stuff. You want to fill in everything to leave a single unknown. You've got to get down to where there's just one unknown left. Okay, now, uh, we can solve this basically in the same way. Multiply over the B, divide over the tangent. That implies B equals 43.4 over tan 32.6 degrees. Okay, so we take our calculator. 43.4 divided by 32.6 tan equals, I'm getting 
67.9, rounded to three significant figures. Okay, so we have solved this right triangle. We got the measure of all the angles, and we know the lengths of all the sides. Okay, so think about your tools. You got the Pythagorean theorem. If you know two side lengths, you can use that to figure out the third one. You got your angle sum. If you know two of the angles, you can get the third one. Now, if you only got one side length, and you want to figure out some of the other side lengths. You're going to need to bring in your trig ratios. If you know this side and you want the hypotenuse, bring in sine or cosine. If you know this side and you want that side, or vice versa, bring in the tangent because that's opposite and adjacent. Okay, so your goal is to have just one unknown in the entire mix. So you've got to be able to fill in the angle measure and one of the side lengths if you're going to use one of the trig ratios to help you out. Okay, so solving right triangles is going to be very important for the work we do in applications. So remember, solving a right triangle means finding the measurements for all the side lengths and all the angles. And we're expecting you to fill in the correct number of significant figures for your answer. Okay, so that's why I rounded this to the tenths place. I wanted three significant figures because all of our inputs had three significant figures. Okay, great.